Hi, I'm Ann Cupolis of Ann Cupolis Fine Art Watercolors. I'm going to be painting a scene today using Viviva Colors. I'll be using the Viviva Original 16 Color Color Set and also the Metallic Single Set, which has 10 colors, and I'll be using them in combination. What I'm actually doing is repainting a painting, and you can see it in the upper portion of this video. I, I wasn't really happy with the original scene. It just lacked a bit of luminosity that I was trying to achieve in the sky. So the scene I'm painting is from a drive that I took on my way up to Pismo Beach. And there was just a really serene scene uh, with fields and really sort of dark indigo mountains in the background, but a very stormy sort of a sky. So anyway, that's what I'm trying to achieve and that's why I wanted to use the metallics set from Viviva because there are some really beautiful luminous watercolors in here. So right now I'm using the silver uh, in combination with some other colors as well that I've mixed up. And you can DM me if you wanna know more about all the color mixes. Um, so I'm applying it in a very sort of a la prima style because I wanna capture that feeling of that stormy sky and the freshness of that feeling. I'm using just one brush really right now so that I can not really have too big a brush, not load up my brush um, and use it, some of it in a dry brush fashion. What's happening here is that I changed my mind and decided to cover all of the mountains right up to the, the yellow with that same blue mixture. And now I'm just dropping in, touching in uh, some darker color in there to create that mood in the sky. Mixing these two colors together gives me that effect that I'm trying to achieve. I hope you like it. If you like watching me use Viviva colors, then maybe you want to try them on your own. You can use my affiliates code A-N-N-E and then the number 10 for 10% 10 off everything on the Viviva website. So go to vivivacolors.com to check out all their different offerings. They've got watercolors, sketchbooks, cork palettes, and more. Now I'm just darkening this up while it's still damp. I like to use a combination of working wet on dry, wet on damp, and wet on wet to get different edges and also different blends of the colors. I'm not being too precious about things here. I'm painting it almost in a way that I would if I were out painting in plain air, which just means painting outside in the open air uh, because I get hot pretty quickly out in the sun. While things dry a little bit in the sky, I'm mixing up some other colors here. These are also in the metallic set and the colors that I'm using here are lava and fire. And I'm using them in combination with some browns and some of that blue again to create this greenery or redery <laughs> in the foreground. So I've changed brushes and now I'm using the brush on its side in a scumbling fashion. Scumbling is just kind of going, scrubbing almost the brush back and forth. Um, and it works really well when you use the brush on the side, but you can use different angles of the brush to get different shapes and different effects. Now I'm using the brush almost as a stamp and I'm spattering a little. Should I have covered up that sky? Probably. <laughs> a little more spatter. Things are starting to dry now, so I can glaze a little bit. By glazing, I mean I can add some more transparent color. I like to use analogous shades, and I can use those on top of other colors. And they won't bleed because it's already dry underneath. So I'm just adding some tonal variety here to the mountains to create that texture. And now I'm using those shades of yellow and blue in combination with a little bit of red to create the beautiful line of trees that are up against the mountain. So using the very toe 
of the bristles, just the tip of those bristles to pull down the suggestion of a trunk and branches on some of these trees. I like to use different parts of the brush for different purposes, to create different shapes, also to carry uh, different amounts of pigment. So using the toe is a great way to just carry a little bit of pigment. Whereas if you sort of saturate the whole brush, then you can carry a lot of pigment. So now I've switched back to my fine liner and I'm just creating this fence that was here and there was a small fence in the distance. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and check out my other videos. I don't really have a reference photo to show you guys, but here's the finished picture. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please hit like and subscribe for more videos.